I'm gonna show you how I get it to this. When you have thick, unruly hair, and that is the secret. Hello everybody, you're watching Alexa. My hair is looking really crazy. I'm going to let you know what my hair routine is now that my hair is short. I haven't done one of these videos in a really long time, so consider this an updated hair care routine. And I'm also going to style it in front of you guys because this is not how I want to keep my hair today. The first thing that I like to do is use a hair conditioning mask. Now, I kind of do everything all in reverse. I like to do my hair conditioning mask before I shampoo an hour to 20 minutes before I'm actually going to shower and I focus that all on my ends I'll usually spritz water all over my hair make sure it's nice and wet and then I'll use the mask this one is by Kerastase it's from their discipline line I really love their products I love their masks um, you don't have to use this though sometimes I mix this with olive oil other days I opt for a coconut and lemon juice mix that I just make at home. The next thing I do is a little bit weird. Okay, so when I get into the shower, I start rinsing my hair. You know, my hair is like oozing of conditioner at this point. So I have this PR sample from Garnier way from way back when, like way, like long time ago. And what I liked about this was that it came in a really random bottle. It's not the actual product bottle. It's just a random juice bottle. What I started doing with my shampoos is adding water and baking soda to them and shaking them up and then using them for my hair. And that helps exfoliate your scalp and I just really like the results of feeling squeaky clean but yet conditioned. And then I usually skip conditioner after that. I tend to use conditioners to shave my legs. Yeah, so I pretty much don't use anything for what it's supposed to be used for, but it's just the way of life. <laughs> if I do decide that I want to double condition, I will condition, but I'll just like only grab like the top pieces up here, the pieces that are really long, and condition those, because I don't want to get conditioner in my scalp. Once I get out of the shower, I like to use something that is going to help me with the styling process after. Because oddly enough, now that my hair is short, I feel the need to style it more often than before. Not necessarily more often, but when my hair was long, I could just wait for it to dry and wear it naturally. But when I wear my hair now naturally, it kind of looks crazy. So I do require heat styling, but it takes five minutes. So it's super easy. The first step out of the shower is a styling cream or a heat protectant type cream. This is the Got To Be All Star Win 10 MVP Perfecting Cream. And I take like a bit, like a little, a little bit of this and really work it through the length of my hair. And then I let it air dry. And I don't style it the first day. So nine times out of 10, I wash my hair in the evening so that it's dry by the time I go to bed and I can sleep on it and it'll get flatter. And that is the secret. When you have thick, unruly hair that is a B-I-T-C-H to style or to blow dry, if I wanted to blow dry my hair, I would spend so much effort with the brush smoothing every layer of hair. And that's really time consuming. I just, I'm, I don't, I, I don't care to do it. It's damaging and it takes a really long time. So the reason I have like really wavy hair like this right now is because when my hair was 80% dry yesterday, I wore it in a French braid. And yes, I can still French braid my hair. So I wear it in a French braid and then I grab one of these doodads and clip it all the way in the back. And I just leave my hair like that while I'm walking around doing errands, whatever. So now I'm gonna show you how I style my hair. How do I get like my straight sleek bob that I've been loving to rock these days? This here is the Nano Titanium by Babyliss Pro and it's got a really nice C shape. I actually went out and bought this one because I found it was really good for when my hair was long because the plates are really big so it takes less passes to get your hair done which is important to me because I don't like to spend a whole bunch of time heat styling. The other thing that I use is a hair clip and a comb. 
So you can go ahead and use a heat protectant if you want. I'm cool with the styling cream that I applied yesterday and I don't really bother with the very bottoms of my hair because that's not extremely obvious. But if you have like really curly hair and you want to straighten your hair for whatever reason, or if you just really want to get the kinks out on the very short hair because the very short hair at the bottom is literally an inch long and there's no way I can get it with this without burning myself. I recommend purchasing a straightening wand that is designed for travel, like those mini ones because those ones have like a really small plate and you can grab them and just, you know, like they're really good for short hair. All right, so this is a very simple way to ensure that you straighten your hair evenly. I even used to do this when my hair was super long. I just use my thumb, take a piece of hair, grab my fine tooth comb, stick it under so I can anchor my fingers up here and hold this part. And then I grab my iron and I have the curved part so that I can curve inwards. And there you have it. And I pretty much do that everywhere. And I can wear my hair like this for a few days without washing it. I just use dry shampoo. So that's the first layer. It took four passes and that's done. Once I get to the top, I actually like to work with the back first. So I'll split it like that. Your top layers are the layers that people see the most or like that are the most important basically. So just be a little bit more careful with those so that they look really nice and crisp. At this point, I mean, I've only got this little patch of hair here left, but I need to pay attention to where I want my hair part to be. So I'll just, I don't want a center part. I always wear it off to one side. Oh my God, you guys, it's getting hot in here. So take off all your clothes. That's a reference for anyone who's old enough to remember that song. At this point, I run my fingers through my hair. I play around with it a little, blah, blah, blah. We'll do a little fluffing. <laughs> I tend to steer clear from using too much more product in my hair. Sometimes I take a little bit of oil to kind of run it through and tame the flyaways. But I, when I say little, I mean little. Like I take the Moroccan oil and drizzle it into my hand, but then I scrape all the product back in and just leave the residue. And just with the residue, I rub it all through my fingers and hands like this. And then I do, you know, that and I run my fingers through my hair like that and I find that that is actually enough and this will last me four days maybe and when it starts to feel dirty I use dry shampoo I tend to prefer the loose dry shampoo to the one that comes in the aerosol can although I do like the Batiste ones and then when it's even dirtier than that I will do a half updo just like Arya Stark or Ned Stark. Thank you guys so much for watching. If this video helped, give it a thumbs up. I will see you in my next video on Tuesday or Thursday. Bye.